Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat. Doing this wonderful morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into my picks, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is time. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you use your time? How do you maximize your time? Do you use your time wisely or do you waste a lot of time? Like, what do you do each day? Do you just wake up and just willy-nilly willy do through your day? Or do you strategize during your day? Because how you use your time is going to depend on how successful you become. When you look at successful people, they wake up each day with a purpose. They either working towards their business or they're working towards their business or they're networking or they're trying to get new contacts. But they maximize their time. They work out. They read. They use their time wisely. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to improve your situation, learn to maximize your time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm leave it there with time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so before I get into these picks, um, let, me just, let me just introduce myself one more time. I'm Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing a $100 season deal that includes the playoffs, and you will get my daily top players list, and you'll get lines every day. And if you pay $125, you can get FanDuel and DraftKings. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. So, guys, let me go right into this slate. We have a seven-game slate on tap, and I am going to break down Toronto versus Portland. All right, but before I do that, let me just, just talk a little bit about what, I, what I'm seeing in the NBA. I believe Toronto is the most complete team in the East because they have four players that can create their own, their own offense. Gasol can create his own offense. Siakam, who is the most improved player in the league, in my opinion, can create his own offense. Leonard can create his own offense, and so can Lowry. Then they have an excellent on-ball defender in Danny Green. That's a championship-caliber team. They got Ibaka, who guards the rim. He can shoot well. They got Van Vliet, who is an excellent backup point guard. This team is deep. All right, when I look at the Oklahoma City Thunder, what I see with Russell Westbrook is He's a guy who doesn't really understand how to maximize his full potential. He's the most athletic point guard in the league, second to none when it comes to his athletic ability. If he played more like Rajon Rondo, they would probably be the number one team in the West. Russell Westbrook gets to the rim at ease. If he did more high pick and roll, which means that the, the center sets the pick at the top of the key and he goes around the pick and he either kicks it to the shooter or kicks it to the rolling to the rim Adams or goes for a layup or Paul George spotted up the three-point line, they would be phenomenal. But Russell Westbrook just wants to shoot tray balls. He's not a tray ball shooter. So OKC, whenever Russell Westbrook shoots 20 shots or more, they lose 80% of the time. When he shoots 19 shots or less, they win 80% of the time. All right, guys, let's get right into this league. All right, you got Lillard versus Lowry. I like Lillard in this matchup, but I think him and Lowry will put up about the same points. So I'm going to take Lowry. I think Lowry will get you about 40 to 45 points. At the shooting guard position, I don't like McCullum because he's going up against Danny Green. And I just said, Danny Green is an excellent on-ball defender. Don't be shocked if McCullum has 30 or less in this matchup. All right. At the small forward position, you got Kawhi Leonard going against Harkless. I love this matchup. I like both of these guys. So I'm running Kawhi and I'm going to run Harkless. Okay, at the power forward position, you have Siakam and Abaka and Amino. Siakam is the most improved player in the whole NBA to me. I love him in this matchup. And if Abaka starts, I would run Abaka. If Gasol starts, I wouldn't run Gasol because I believe him and Nurkic are going to counsel each other out since they're two big physical bodies. I believe both of them get around 30 to 31 points, but I love Siakam. So that's it, guys. You got Lowry. You got Leonard, you got Harkless, and Siakam. So that's it, guys. So, guys, I am on to today. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to change your life, you have to learn how to maximize your time. Love you guys.